Yes, I came down. It's so hot today. It's 30 degrees. Well, the car said it was 40 degrees, actually. Feels like it's 40. I can't have my fan on, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Uh, so I'm just wiping down my face because I have been outside uh, today. I just came from having a breakfast. Yeah, so as you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be all about the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. Um, such controversy around this palette, which is why I had to have it. I had to have it. So there's this online, uh, this is online uh, shop called ICU Makeup, and they do. They stock a lot of international brands such as Too Faced, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Ico, and a whole bunch of other products. It's ICU like this. I'll leave the link to the website down below where you can purchase um, some of these international products. And the thing I love about ICU is that they don't go crazy with their markup. There are some Instagram or online shops locally that sell international products for double the price that they are in like Sephora or other shops in the States or the UK. So ICU keeps their prices reasonable. Like the subculture palette online retails for 700 Rand. Some Instagram, some other boutiques sell them for, sell it for like 1.2, 1.5, just because it's an import and they put tax and stuff on top of it. This is the subculture palette. And I have to say that when this palette first came out, I saw a, a picture of it on Twitter and I really fell in love with the colors and the tones in the palette. So um, a lot of people weren't really into the colors in the palette, but I was so obsessed with the yellows and the green tones, particularly the yellows. And I just felt I could play around a lot with the, with the, with the color scheme here. As for its performance, that's the conversation that has sparked, sparked so much controversy. Yeah, they have pressed the matte shadows as pigments. So lending to your very powderiness and people basically describing describing it as a lot of fallout. You can't move your brush around too much in this palette. You literally have to treat everything like a loose pigment. It is pressed, but you have to treat it like you would be handling loose pigment. The colors are very, very intense. I have used the palette once before. I had to practice a little bit before I actually come on here and share what I've been doing or how I use it. I don't even know how to use it at this point. I literally just did a simple eye over the weekend and my experience then was like what everyone is saying is true. Um, I see myself doing a cut crease because I do want to get the most out of this palette. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Oh, by the way guys, I have these eyelash extensions on. They are low key like irritating me. I find them a little bit of a hindrance uh, when it comes to doing eyeshadow looks and getting like powder on them and you know product on them. You want to be very careful when you have eyelash extensions. I really do believe they are just so pretty. Um, so uh, yeah, I really want to make it work. ABH has its own eyeshadow brush. I'm going to start off by using the eyeshadow brush inside the palette. And I'm going to start off by going in with the shade Dawn. And I'm literally, I'm not, I'm picking up product like this. I'm not swirling it around. And there's definitely four lot, you can see that. It's a lot, I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so I'm just applying Dawn in my crease. Another thing I've noticed about these shadows from watching online reviews and tutorials is that the colors tend to um, get a bit darker once you've applied them onto your skin. I'm going to take the same brush and go in with the shade Edge. It's a beautiful mustardy sort of color. This one also has quite a bit of fallout. And I'm applying this on the eye on the crease. I want you to see that powderiness coming through. Really? 
So what I'm seeing already is that Dawn, I mean age has completely sort of like oxidized or gone a bit darker. So I really can't see it anymore. So I'm gonna go in with New Wave. Just look at that excess there. I just want you guys to see that. And this one I'm gonna press in. Um, I'm gonna press this one in as opposed to doing a swiping motion because it's such a beautiful color and it definitely will sort of like disappear into itself which is quite sad but I'm gonna go to the shade All Star and I'm using a more tightly packed tapered eyeshadow brush uh, and I've seen that these are the colors that caused people a lot of problems with All Star and Untamed and Access. These ones, I'm treating them as pigments and patting it, uh, packing it into the crease. I'm gonna go in with Rowdy. This one has a ton of fallout. And I'm just gonna apply this over All Star. You can't afford to sweep this product. If you start sweeping this product, wind wiper motions. You're going to regret it. So I'm literally pressing it in. Wow, this is hectic. <sighs> right, let's carve out the cut crease. So, on the outer edge of my cut crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Access. And I'm packing this on on the outside of the crease area. I think I'm rather gonna go in with untamed. This um, feels like paint. It feels like you're playing with paint. You know what's so terrible is... <laughs> what's so terrible is... The space above my crease. Oh, it's late. I'm gonna go into my inner corner with Adorn. That was a mission. It was definitely not perfect. So let's go back in with our eyes and going back in with the palette. Um, I don't want to touch these colors again, the purples. Um, I'm 
I'm gonna go with new wave and just blend that out using new wave. I'm gonna take the Smashbox Always On gel liner and go into my waterline with it. I'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is new from Lancome. Can't really apply falsies on top of my extensions. Um, so we can't wear false lashes today. <laughs> but hopefully you can see something. That's it guys, that's the finished look. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. We definitely experienced some glitches, particularly with the purpley shades, and those shades are called All Star and Rowdy. Those just are so difficult to uh, pack into your crease area, so I would really avoid using those. Dawn, very powdery, difficult to use. Um, New Wave and Edge are also difficult to use, so but I really love those colors so much. I just opt for packing them and pressing them in as opposed to doing wind wiper motions. So um, Subculture is available at icu.co.za. Is it icu.com or icu.co.za? So yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.